Hey guys, welcome to Friday. It is January the 8th, and I'm going home from work now. I have just felt really, really blech all day long, just as I have the past few days, and I, I don't know, I can't tell if I'm getting better or worse, but I just don't feel very good. I, my throat is killing me, and I drank like a billion tons of water today because it just I keep needing to. And I don't blow my nose like a million times too, so I, I kind of just want to go home and relax a bit and just let the weekend start because I'm kind of done with this week, to be honest. I did get a lot done at work, which is nice, I guess, and I'm like completely and totally caught up and that always feels very nice here because sometimes we do get kind of behind and I'm like I just I have no problems being caught up at the moment so that's just really nice and if so if it weren't for being sick then today would have been a really good day so far hopefully uh, as the night dwindles on I'll start feeling a little bit better and hopefully Giselle's day has been a bit better than mine has so Giselle how has your day been um not terrible <laughs> all right yeah I don't know it's been a weird day it has been. It's already like 11 o'clock at night. As soon as I got home from work, I had to crash because I just felt awful. And Giselle has been helping me out, giving me things to make me feel better every once in a while, and we both just have been crashed. And yeah, so we're finally eating our dinner at 11 o'clock. We're just eating simple red potatoes and asparagus. and Yeah, yeah. it'll be good. It's one of our favorite meals. It's just so simple. It's good. just so simple and easy and Delicious. just tastes really good. So. Yeah. This is also really good with steak, so maybe we should do that next week. Yeah. Good, but but today has been weird. You put it put it good. Yeah, and I all our books are finally on our bookcases. There is not a single book anymore that is not on the shelf. They're just... Yeah, I just did those three <coughs> shelves. Yeah, well... Because we had still a few books stacked up that were from... Well, I, most of them have gotten put away, but not quite all of them. Some of them were in front of there from the book tree, and... Yeah. I'm happy about that. So now we're going to watch Face Off. Yeah. Well, while I was crashed out, just I was doing that. So I did that, and then I also slept <clears> a little bit as well. And I, I don't know, just did a few random things. I didn't get, like, a ton done, but I feel accomplished. And I've been watching Psycho Plays, because he's, like, the best lp -er ever. And I've been watching his um, Paper Mario. And then I started re-watching his... Or continuing watching his Pokey Park Let's Play as well. Because I only watched the first few episodes of that when they first came out. And now that I'm up, I'm going to try to stay up and actually do some stuff. Not anything crazy. Like, I really don't feel motivated or anything to, like, e edit vlogs or edit anything or do anything of substance, really. I'll probably just, or, just read, I guess. I just, my, my whole body is out of it. These three skirts were ordered. A little bit ago and Giselle has finished them all and we're about to go take them to the post office. It's pretty late at night but uh, we're still up and probably going to be up for a little while so we just thought we would take them now and try to get them out as soon as we can to get them to her. She lives uh, overseas so it's going to take a little bit so getting them out as soon as we can is preferable. And we always wrap them up in these nice little plastic bags to get them safe and you know, stick them in one of these and then Giselle is over here writing a Thank you card. We like to do that with every single order. We always write a thank you card, so just to show our appreciation, because I don't know, especially someone ordering three skirts at once is just really, really cool. And I know Giselle's really, really happy about it. So you're happy with how all the skirts turned out, right? Yeah, for the most part. Still not totally happy with one of them, but there's nothing I could really do about it. So yeah, they look, they look nice. I especially like the leaf one. It's really pretty. I want it for myself, but unfortunately I can't. That's sad. <laughs> I want all the skirts for myself. Skip ahead a few minutes and we just realized that we cannot ship things internationally when the post office isn't actually open and someone's there to like give it to them and stuff. You can't actually use like the self-service machine and stuff. I've checked before and you can't do it so we're gonna have to wait until tomorrow morning to ship them out. But that's okay, it's pretty late anyway. It just means we don't have to go out in the cold because it's freezing outside and I'm sick so that wouldn't have been so great, but yeah, we're just gonna do it tomorrow morning. It's really, we screwed up our sleep schedule so much again. It's we like, slept so much earlier though. Yeah, so. it's like 5 a.m. and yeah. oh, just, mm, no. 
no, no, no. So, yeah, it's been an interesting day, though, and we're both very tired now. And Chris got to page 400 mm -hmm. in the Bone Clocks, mm -hmm. which is exciting. And I'm, like, 80% of the way through with City of Bones as well. I haven't read for the past, like, day or so, but I have been reading a little bit at night. I think I did read a little bit last night as well, so, sorry, locking your face. I'm still sick, by the way. He's really sick and coughing a lot and all sorts of stuff. We slept for so long earlier and didn't really help, and Giselle's been giving me some stuff to make me feel better. Yeah. And hopefully it works. Hopefully tomorrow we feel better. I feel better. So. Yeah, and hopefully I don't end up getting sick because apparently I'm teaching on Sunday again as well, I found out, so that's And a thing. tomorrow I would like, we have a lot of stuff we have to do tomorrow. Yeah, we need to run errands and go to the post office and go to Staples and all sorts of stuff, so it'll be an interesting day. Hopefully Chris is better so that running errands doesn't kill him, otherwise I'm going to make him stay home. And he's not going to be happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> so. And... We need to actually wake up and do them. Yeah. So hopefully we can get some sleep. We yeah. need to go grocery shopping, too. Right. Forgot about that. Yeah. So the post office is open until 3, so as long as we wake up by, like, 1, we should be good. If we can be out the door by 2-ish. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. would like to leave way earlier than that. We'll We'd see. like to, but we still do need rest, so. Yeah. yeah. Well. Okay. Well, I think that's about it, so we'll see you later. Tomorrow. Well, today. <laughs> Sometime. <laughs>